Hey everyone, welcome to Wikic channel and in this video we shall see Oppo F7 camera detail settings. It has got plenty of detail settings that you can tweak for and get some really sharp and good looking images. Uh, we are here on the beautiful uh, park side so there is a lot of uh, good scenery going on and I'll just show you how you can take really gorgeous images every single time on your Oppo F7. So let's get started with the video. So here's the Oppo F7 and it's a default camera user interface. If you just tap on the camera, this is what you get into the user interface. So there are a couple of options over here which you can tweak to get instant good images. So, so the first one is the full screen standard and as well as the square mode where you can utilize it for various purposes. If you keep the standard mode, the resolution will be high. I mean, you will get complete 25 megapixel of goodness. But sometimes it decides itself and doesn't give you exact resolution and it will reduce to 16 megapixel. And the other one is the square wherein if you want to share uh, your picture on social media instantly you just capture this and you'll get square images you don't have to crop it further so that way it is very helpful that is how you choose the square mode and uh, another one is obviously the full screen mode so in the full screen mode what you get is complete uh, uh, screen uh, you don't get the wide angle but yet you get the full screen mode uh, but the resolution will be a little bit reduced uh, but in order to get the full view you have to go to the full screen mode so this is uh, how you capture and if you tap on any subject you want to focus, uh, the exposure will be, the metering will be automatically adjusted. You don't have separate option for metering unfortunately, but still you get the metering done by itself. And here you get a small slider which you can just slide it down for exposure compensation to increase, to give a little bit of brightness, extra brightness. So that is how you can tweak the exposure value. The next setting we will be looking at is the timer. Obviously you have the 3 seconds, 10 seconds and tap to click the picture. So if you select the tab and if you just press on the image it will focus and capture for you. That's how you can use the tap to click and here is the 3 second and 10 second timer. The next one is the newly introduced mode which is the super vivid mode everything will be every color will be saturated which is uh, I think in my opinion it is too much saturated but uh, still for the viewing pleasure it really gives you good uh, nice crisp yet very saturated very eye pleasing uh, pictures I would say. So that is how you use the super vivid mode it is also available on the default mode itself you don't have to swipe around. So the next one is the depth effect so this is the bokeh mode or portrait mode or depth effect you can call whatever you want so if you once you enable you have to be closer to a certain object uh, say we have some pole here so this is a pretty close now if i tap on this it will change the metering and it will recognize that it is a closer distance and it will give you depth effect making everything blur so in order to get a blurred background you can use this depth effect uh, to enable it you just tap on it it will give you a low sign so that's how it is enabled the next one is the high dynamic range in a subject like this in a landscape picture like this uh, uh, sometimes the foreground element is properly not exposed what you can do is to switch on turn on the HDR you don't have to keep it automatic you can forcibly turn it on just capture and every detail of the landscape images will be captured but make sure that your hand is not shaken it is very steady you hold the camera very steady and just tap on this like this so that is how you capture HDR you can leave it to auto as well but whenever you leave it to auto it will show you an yellow mark saying that it is capturing in HDR mode that time you have to be very careful while capturing the picture don't shake the camera the last one here is the flash so obviously to manually turn it on forcibly you just enable this or you disable it so you can that way turn on the flash and turn off the flash and here is the 1x 2x zoom so you can zoom it twice you can zoom it one time so that's how you, it works otherwise you can just tap and hold you will get the slider you can manually zoom to whatever you are liking so slowly while capturing video if you zoom to 4x uh, you can really see the pictures closely so that's how you can uh, professionally capture the zoom 
the next one here up you have uh, in whatever mode you are you have the beauty level so if you want to capture obviously pictures of uh, persons of your friends then you can increase the beauty level to whatever uh, you are liking and just uh, click the picture so you'll get pictures with beauty mode turned on and next one is the filter here so you have the live filters dedicated filters uh, uh, whichever depending on the scene you can use the filters and capture the images it will give you some of some of the filters are really nice so that way it helps capture the really good images so just to tap on back to remove that filter now if you see look over here there are uh, plenty of other settings if you just swipe up you will go to video mode unfortunately there is no slow motion in this uh, uh, oppo f7 and you have 720p and 1080p that's it you don't get the 4k capture as well so no 4k recording unfortunately so just tap on the video shutter button and it will capture the video for you there is a small little icon here if you just tap on that this is the camera shutter you can also capture the images while capturing taking the video tap on stop you can even pause the video and continue later the next one if you swipe up is the time lapse obviously you can capture time nice time lapse on the oppo f7 as well just swipe up like this and you have the sticker mode wherein you have this magic band you can apply various kinds of stickers funky funny stickers uh, depending on your liking if there are persons on a subject it will automatically apply if you just tap on any of this sticker so that's how it works that's uh, the sticker mode next one we will be going is the panorama obviously you have the panorama but in order to capture the panorama you have to do it in a vertical way so you know horizontal movement of panorama unfortunately you have to hold it like this and keep rotating uh, until you get everything into this light so that way you can capture really beautiful panoramic images the last one uh, the most important thing of this oppo f7 is this expert mode just swipe down like this and you will be into the expert mode so the first thing you'll notice here is this uh, disabled if you just tap on it this is the ultra hd mode turned on if you capture you'll get great detailed images in around 30 megapixel of goodness so but you have to very steadily hold the camera that way you get the very detailed images on this oppo f7 so this is the ultra hd mode wherein you have to turn it on to get that extra detail the next one here is the stripes the three stripes if you tap on that here is where you get all the manual exposure manual settings pro level options so first one is the white balance you can just swipe the slider to change the color so suppose you are not getting proper color in the environment you can just tweak it a little bit and get accurate colors in the picture it is especially useful in the indoor situation i would say where there are a lot of lightings in the indoor and you don't get proper color you can always switch the auto white balance so next one is the exposure value you can compensate the exposure value uh, to plus one plus two stops so if you are getting very dark images you can a little bit tweak and give it a 0.5 stop so that you get the brighter and properly exposed images every single time that is how you use the ev value the next setting is the iso so I would suggest you to leave the ISO to automatic because if you increase the number the more noisier the images get the auto mode works really great on this Oppo F7 anyway you have uh, from all the way from 100 ISO up till 3200 ISO that means uh, since this is f1.8 uh, aperture camera you get really good images in the low light conditions as well that is why they have increased the ISO number to 3200 so you will let it uh, automatically decide and it will give you nice images in the low light conditions so the next one is the shutter now uh, you can decide the shutter speed value and it won't show you live when you change the shutter but uh, if you change the ISO and then you change the shutter it will show you live so that way you can increase the shutter speed for faster movement of capture and if you want to give uh, make pictures very smooth and silky or if you want to create a painting uh, in the lighting streaks if you want to create then you just uh, slow down the shutter speed and you get that nice light night time you can paint the light you can just turn on the flash of another uh, a mobile then you just paint it and capture it on a very low shutter speed that way you get very nice images so the shutter speed ranges from all the way from 1 by 8000 of a second which is really awesome to capture fast movements all the way up to 16 seconds so that's how what the range is of the oppo f7's camera the next uh, autofocus manual focus so sometimes what happens is it really hunts uh, while you are holding very closely to any object that time you can switch to manual focus and clearly get the focused images 
so this way you can tweak all the settings and get the way you want the images to be so these are the settings that is available on the oppo f7 the last setting that i would like to showcase is in the inside the settings so if you just go to the settings tab here scroll down all the way down and you will find a camera here if you just tap on that you have the volume button so you can set the volume button to whatever you are liking you can use it to capture image or zoom and uh, do such stuff here is the grid you can turn it off you can turn it on for better composition the pictures you can use the shutter sound if, if you tap on the shutter button there is a, there will be a sound of shutter so you can just enable or disable you can uh, gps tag the picture as well say that you want to record the location of the picture as well you can turn this on there is a flip selfie while capturing selfie images if you tap on this say you don't get flipped images you get proper images as you see in real life there is also this watermark if you just enable the watermark uh, there will be an oppos watermark unfortunately you cannot change that but still you get the oppo watermark after taking a photo so these are all the settings that is available on the oppo f7 i hope this tutorial was helpful don't forget to subscribe to my channel and support my channel for bringing you more awesome contents thanks for watching guys please like the video and share with your friends see you all in another awesome content till then take care bye bye